Now with 100% more ducks. Sink me. I mean, howdy folks. Grok the Duck Farmer here. And I'm on the FTOG Avant 3 server. Hanging out here at my Botania area. And do you see that pillar there behind me? It's kind of bland. It's kind of meh. It, it's kind of... Uh, I, you know, yeah, it's living rock and living wood, and uh, but it just doesn't wow me. So I'm a thinking that what I need is an expert. So I have me a book here that says a job. And it says, this is for MG Rose, it says, I like the look of my Botania base, but the four pillars don't wow me at all. Sure, they're made out of living rock and wood, but I'm not that impressed. Please do your chisel and bits magic to make it look nice. Then let me know what I can do for you as payment. So, I am uh, going to go ahead and drop that off at uh, Rose's Chisel and Bits shop. Uh, but I have no idea when it will be done, because, you know, it, it, it relies on her schedule. And last I heard today, her computer went... <laughs> and died so she's got to get that repaired and until she gets that repaired then she's kind of offline which is not much fun at all because uh, we like having her around anyway i am here in the botania area because i wanted to do one final bit of automating because you know automate all the things and that's here is this the alfheim portal it you you throw stuff in and cool stuff comes out but I really don't want to see the automation stuff here. I'd like to hide it, so I'm going to stick it on the other side of the portal. And this was something uh, Link was, was mentioning, how he wanted to go ahead and automate this. So I said, hey, I've got an idea, and brought it over to his base, only to find he had done something else, which if you haven't already checked out his video, you should. So over here, I'm going to go ahead and pop out these two. And then let's put a, let's bring all this stuff down. So let's go ahead and put this, that can go right here, but that's facing the wrong way. So where's my hammer? There's my hammer. And we'll hammer that there, hammer, 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 hammer. All right, so it's poking up, which is what I wanted to do. And then I want a chest here. So let's go ahead and put the chest there. Alrighty, and some conveyor belts. Uh, playing with, with four on these, these are just fun. So let's go ahead and put a conveyor belt there, and there, and there, and you're going to have to move. Let's go ahead and stick you someplace else. Uh, conveyor belt, conveyor belt, conveyor belt, and conveyor belt. Then if we tap that with a hammer, shift, nope, nope, nope. There, but that, there we go. Wrong direction. Let's flip you around. Shift tap, shift tap. All right, there we go. Yes, I'm smart. All right, so things will come down, float around here, go up in there, which is exactly what I'm looking for. Now to collect stuff, I've got this item collector. And the, the thing that's nice about the item collector is you have a range and five is too much. So let's go ahead and drop that to three. I think that should be sufficient to grab everything right here but it'll just grab everything indiscriminately. So I have this item filter, and I've already set it up for all these items that will come out of the Alfheim portal. So Elementium, Elementium blocks, Dragonstone, Dragonstone blocks, the Pixie Dust, the Elven Quartz, Dreamwood, and Alf Glass. So if we right-click this, we can drop that in there. So now only those nifty cool items will come through, and that's all she wrote. So. Uh, let's go ahead and grab the importer and the crafter and let's go down one all right so down in here i already ran a cable from over there so it's connected and yep that's where that's going to go so that's the importer let's click that there so anything going in should get sucked in and then this is the crafter this is going to have to go there nope oh here let's set this up to always eject continuously and let's shift click that in place wrong direction all right so let's tap that up uh up there we go so that's pointing up and we really don't need this piece here because that's connecting up there Alrighty, that'll work that'll work nicely uh, and 
So the one thing I don't want to have happen is for my magnet to pick up stuff. So let's come into here, solignolia. Let's make one of these flowers start. And we'll just wait for that to happen. Over there at the, the main base, it is dropping all the stuff that it needs. And hey, flower. So uh, we've got the glimmering yellow. Let's put that back just to make sure that we've got plenty of light back here. So uh, F7 says I have plenty of light. Well, there, we'll just uh, put that there. Why not? I love floating plants, so let's do that as well. So floating one of these. Oh, hey, I've got a floating munch to. Oh, no, not what, not what I need. All right, so that. Oh, you go away. You go there. You go there. Thank you. And some snow. Snow, because I, I like the look of snow on the... I uh, don't want that. Hey, get off. Let's put that here. And so if we put that right there, you can see it's it encompasses everything here. So that'll keep me from snagging it. And a little bit of snow because that makes it look cool. Perfect. So if I take some oranges and toss them out, nothing happens. And if they happen to go onto the conveyor belt, they go along and whoop, gone. So that, that's nice, because I don't really want the oranges kicking around. They're here for decoration, but not for consumption. Alrighty, so let's go ahead then and put that stuff away. And I need some sort of recipe of something. Uh, let's see, um, let's grab pearls, pearls, pearls. And let's grab a half stack of them. And let's just watch it in action. So what will happen as soon as I set up a recipe for them, and I haven't yet, I'll, I'll do that off screen because I've done those a bunch. It will pop up from there onto the conveyor belt, roll along, and, oh, it's not giving me um, the pixie dust like it's supposed to. Hmm. Alrighty, I wonder if that's broken. Uh, let's get some mana steel. Alrighty, and let's put those in. Now, one won't do anything. Oh, one did. I think I am off by one, because it takes two, yes. So it takes one more ingot of mana steel. There we go. Because this takes two to make uh, the, the single block of elementium, or single piece of elementium. There's the second one. Yep, there it goes. So, yay, that is working. I'm not sure what happened to getting the pick. Oh, it's not the ender pearl. Dumb, 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 dummy, dumb, dumb. It's the mana diamond and the mana pearl. All right, see, I let's take a look at that here. It get off. Thank you. So let's dump in one of those. That should give me the pixie dust and Ta-da! Pixie dust. And then mana diamond should give me the dragon stone. Poing! Yep. All right. So that's what it is. I was just a doof. So let's go ahead and deliver this book over at the Chisel and Bits shop in Spawn. Yeah, wait for things to load. Uh, we can turn off the, the lights. All right. So let's head this away. Do, 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 do. And you know, as much as I love to fly, when I'm walking through here, I'm just gonna just spend some time walking at ground level because it looks really cool. And Rose's shop looks absolutely fantastic anyway. So let's go ahead and put that in here. Kadoink, right in the middle, so she can, can't help but see that. And we'll see what sort of uh, nifty, chisely, bitsy goodness she can come up with because that would be fantastic. And talking about fantastic, as this is loading up over here, this I haven't shown off yet. This is something that Thor has worked on, and you should definitely be checking out his channel if you haven't already. Uh, this is for his Patreons, and I have to admit, it looks fantastic. Uh, modeled after some of the, the Greek and Roman sort of uh, co um, columns, and, and it, it just looks 
fantastic. Plus, he's got a spot for the head of all the, the people and uh, a nice little armor and bronze sword set up, but also has got their names inscribed on there. So that's fantastic. And I love the little water treatment that he's got a set up where, you know, water's coming up, pours in, pours down. I, it's just fantastic looking. And he asked Rose to come in and do something nifty. And so she did these little suns in here, which really look nice. And I was watching him build this at the very beginning. And I said, ooh, I have an idea for a prank. But I'm going to hold off on that until there's been plenty of time for people to appreciate how cool this looks before I do some silliness to it. So that's another show. Off, back to the base. And I can do this. All right, so for now, I'm thinking let's go back over to the blood magic area because a little while ago, I was over here playing with villagers and and here's the mostly vanilla setup for, for making villagers. So down here, I've got the little, it, it's six houses worth and got a little villager, cedar villager down here. And because the there's five blocks up to them, they count this as part of the village, but they themselves are not seen as part of the village. Yeah. And so uh, I went ahead and turned, got rid of the water here. So I've got these little uh, vector plates that bring them into here. And then when they grow up as full born villagers, they come across and drop in. It's really, really slow. And I'm not sure why, because I've done this on my 1.10 vanilla server. And man, these guys are chewing out villagers. It's like every 30 seconds, there's a new villager coming through. And so I can, when I turn the switch to, to turn it on, they just, the, the they go into happy breeding mode and boom, I, villagers like crazy. The way I turn it off is this, these blocks right here, oh, that's part of the problem right there. Uh, this needs to be glass. Um, that right there blocked it. So it's only three uh, villagers, villages worth instead of four. But yeah, I, I take these two blocks and I use a piston to push in something there instead and that that works out just hunky dory but nope not working and so not going to go ahead and, and use this instead i'm going to use something different and the the main reason why i want these villagers is so that i can have let's break this uh, so that I can have a the green and um, maybe the yellow villagers. So let's snag that guy. What did we get? We got you. Nope, don't want you. Here, why don't you dance on that? Snag another guy. Who are you? Nope, don't want you. You go dance on this one. Yeah, I'm evilly, evilly uh, killing villagers. Well, I'm not killing them. They just happen to be uh, dying there. All right, so give me a green robed villager. That's what I'm looking for. Because, yeah, I can see a couple of them in there. Oh, I think I got one. Perfect, perfect. All right, so, um, oh, this here, this allowed me to grab a villager that had grown up, uh, put them in here, trade with them, and this one had, hasn't been traded with, but I could trade with them, and that helped unlock them and make them happier. Oh, he escaped. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and snag him. Let's not just have wandering villagers around. Come here, you. Here, have fun. Uh, let's grab this guy back. And I'm going to have to come through here and, and purge out the ones that, that I want and uh, get rid of all the rest and then tear this all down because it's, it's not doing me any good. Nope. Out of here. Because what I want to do is set this up at Toddy's Elven Village. And so let's come this direction. Uh, Toddy has, has been building some stuff over in his Elven Village area. And he asked if, if I wanted to build something. So I said, sure, that, that would be cool. And we'll wait for it to load in. I love the dome of the, the purple glass. You know, it's, it's, it's really nice. Uh, so over here, he's built a couple of little places. And this here is his first elven home. And I, and I really love the look of it. It's just fantastic. And then over here is a second place, a little teeny tiny tree with you know a bunch of cool stuff in it. 
also very, very cool. And, you know, we've got a little bit of uh, farmlands going on here in the back with a scarecrow here to keep the cows out of, of the place. And it must be working because the cows are over here. Hi, cows. Oh, okay. So, but uh, the, the thing that I wanted, um, and, and there had been villagers out here for a while and nobody knew who supplied the villagers, uh, it was Thor. But, yeah, see, these guys... The green and possibly the yellows look really nice in here. So Toddy mentioned once that uh, he had liked these these green robed uh, villagers. So I said, okay, let's do that. And I, I love how they come out of these doors that are look like windows, but they're doors. Hello, villager. Oh, you've taken a little bit of damage. So I have over here a little building for me. This I went ahead and declared this section to be mine to do some building so i threw up a little you know this is the the seven by seven building that i do all the time and it's poo isn't it yeah it's ugly that looks fantastic this looks ugly why because that's not the right structure no no we don't want something like that he this is why i don't do vein mode around my buildings because this is not what I'm actually going to be building. No, I'm going to have to be building something different. But I just want to have fun of, of vein mining all the stuff out of the way. I have to really think of what to put in here. Something that's not rectangles. Something that's far different from that. But before we do that, I want to get the villagers going. So let's kind of tuck them over here because it's it's going to be kind of industrially sort of thing. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Go away. And let's grab these bits. Doot, doot. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, so I'm a thinking. Let's go away. Let's grab this. And so we got some of those. That can go away. Two, hey, done. So we'll tuck it into this corner right here. And doot, and then one, two, two, three. That works. And then let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. All right, so that's nine wide. And we'll get rid of this. And where's my wand? There's my wand. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. All right, so there's a nine by nine area because the spawners will do a nine by nine area when they place things in. And let's break that. Let's grab the lever. And let's put that on there and flip the lever. And then we could take this soul shard. Uh, that villager method just is really, really slow. And I, I wanted to do the, the main uh, vanilla E sort of method, but it's not working. And I can't use, you know, the, the soul vials to make a Ender IO spawner. Uh, that doesn't work for, for those. So I saw that Technojock had two of these uh, villager soul shards, and I asked, and he said, sure. So I'm going to go ahead and borrow this one for right now, slap that in there, and it's off right now, which is exactly what I want. So let's go ahead and toss that up, and one, two, three, one, two, three, go away, go away, and let's bring you out, doot, 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 doot. Perfect. And this side. And one. Nope, nope. Don't want to do it one more because that will be ugly looking. Let's go here. One, two, three. Are these three? I thought I did three. Why are there four? All right, all right. One, two, three. Nope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm having keyboard problems. Either that or I'm having problems. But it's easier to blame the keyboard. So let's go ahead and drop that here. Doot, 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 and doot. And this last one over here. All right, so this will encase all the villagers when I bring them in. Nice. And let's grab this water bucket. And let's go ahead and put it in this corner. Grab one more bit of water and water. Okay, so now I can get me a continual bit of water going on. All right. 
Alrighty, so that will push all of the villagers over to there. So, let's do this. Oh, you're not supposed to be up there, you silly goober. In fact, I don't want any of these guys. Here, let me snag you. Snag you. Come. Alright, so let's go ahead and make a kill chamber here. So I need one, two... And we can break that. And then let's go up, doot, doot. And let's put a bucket of lava down there in the center. So you can already see what I'm doing. Bye! <laughs> so that's the, the plan, because I, I really don't want any of these guys that aren't the cool looking villagers. So we can burn them off. And in the meantime, we can just let this... Oh, see, there's two that we do want. Don't want you, so you can go away. And this should... Uh, yeah, see, there's a yellow one. So let's go ahead and stop this now. I can sit there and go ahead and grab these. I'll check with Toddy if he wants the yellow ones too or just the greens. But I think they both look really cool. And the green ones I'm going to release over there. And then the yellow ones I may pen them up so he's got a, a place to check. And then all the rest of them, they're going to go. Bye, guys. I can has villagers? Yes, I can. <laughs> In fact, I've got a whole passel of them here. I, I pinged Toddy real quick just to make sure that he was A, looking for villagers, and B, green and yellow were what he was wanting. There's about mm, 10, I think, green villagers or so, and about five, six of the yellow. And one of the things that was really cool about them is that the green ones are arborists. So if we drop this guy here and look at him, he's got this desert acacia wood planks here, which is really cool. Some sugar maple, balsa wood planks, and some other stuff in here. Ooh, ipe wood. That's kind of cool. Oh, lime wood. Ooh, I like that lime wood. Don't care about the pollen. Blue maho. Ooh. And, and, and I like this guy specifically. Let me snag him back real quick because as I was looking at the stuff, I was saying, yeah, I think the desert acacia planks would look really good as well as this balsa wood. I just also need... A different log and uh, you know I'm gonna probably use some acacia possibly but I'm kind of liking this log here uh, let's go back to him do, 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 do. that log I like that it's it's dark but it's got a, a reddish tone to that so gimme all right and we'll let that uh, go away yeah see that's kind of a cool looking Oh yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a liking that. So that should give them time to kind of refresh. And let's get some more, nope, nope, not those. Some more of these. Yeah, okay, that that's gonna work, that's gonna work. So this guy, I think I'm gonna keep in my pocket. Get into my pocket. And that way I've got stuff to play with. So let's do a little building over here. Oh yeah, I moved the, uh, the the death chamber up here because it was too much to go up and down, and up and down, and up and down. So I said, nah, 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 not going to do that. I'm thinking also these guys are close enough that it's hitting this cap. So the nice thing is I can spawn off a bunch of villagers and then it stops really fast. But that's not what we're going to talk about. Let's come over here to my section and you can see there's a, a decent amount here, but... I'm thinking, I like that, how it kind of is not rectangles, uh, nor that over there. So that's what I'm kind of pondering right now. I'm thinking the balsa wood would make a good roof. But I'm thinking the this green, and I, I may change my mind about that, but the green, I think, would look really good. And I'm going to have to clean up my area here first. So let's, whoops, come back here, you. Uh, Let's toss that out and get rid of these two. Don't need the bucket. Where are my shears? There's my shears. All right, I already did a little uh, cleaning up around here. But uh, I don't want to break all this stuff because it's good, cool vegetation. So we'll just uh, clean it up a little bit. And yeah, I can I can replant all this stuff just fine. We can gather this stuff from elsewhere too. But it's it's nice not to to lose what we've got here. Oh, you too. Alright, so I think I've got a pretty good area cleared up. The one thing that I've not been able to figure out how to replace 
are these little fallen branches from Terracrius. You know, I, I like having these little stony bits kicking around, but uh, yeah, can't, uh, yeah, see here's, here's the branch and here's the stone. I just can't figure out any way to get them replaced, but oh well. Uh, let's clear this area up. I'm thinking something kind of multi-leveled. Something up here, dripping down into there and going back in that direction. That's what I'm kind of pondering right now. So let's get rid of all this. Back up into here. Alrighty. So we'll deal with those later. Oh, hey, I've got some vacation. Hold them out here. Stick them in here. So I, I might go with the acacia because the acacia might look better with the the desert acacia here. I'm playing it by ear. That's what I'm doing. So let's see. I want something that's kind of a tower over here. So let's do a tower like a yay. Uh, let's not actually do a full... Yeah, let's not do a square. Let's do a slightly oval tower. Uh, yeah, I think. Yeah, see, it's 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 not a perfect square of you know the 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 blocks here. So yeah, that looks better. All right, so let's go. Oh, I've got this thing. Let's go up. And so now we need some variation stuff going on in here. Let's pinch it in a bit. And let's go up some more here. And that looks good. Let's, let's go out now. And go back to what it was. Oops, don't want that in there. Alrighty, that's looking better. Get rid of these pieces because we don't want them at all. And I think one more roof needs to go on top of that. Okay, so there's the bare beginnings of a tower. And let's grab that as a roofing sort of thing. So that's going to go up here. Ooh. You know, that, that kind of looks okay. Let's, let's see that. You know, I'm, I'm kind of grooving that light. I don't know. I, I need to see, can I actually do shield? So that's just regular crafting. Can I make... No, 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 no. Let's go back to... There's all sorts of cool stuff. Let's see. Stairs. I assume I can do stairs with these and slabs oh yeah okay good 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 because that's exactly what i was i was looking at doing with these things is uh you know setting up some some slabs and and whatnots will you do walls oh, that's trap doors um i'm drawing a blank off the top of my head for walls anyway uh, let's see. So maybe do some some fences with that. But that's a good side tower, alrighty. And then if we're gonna do, I wondered, should I do this color where I've got roof here, have the building down here? Wrong. If I use the the roofing building here for the this main area. And then put the the desert acacia on top for the roofing and then over here where i've got the other tower going and do that again with the the other color i'm i'm thinking i might do that little switch over and the same sort of of tower to balance but going that way instead of that way so see that's three four four Let's do four and then do, yes, I can do this. Uh, let's chop you out of there so there's an easy way to go up. And do, 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 do. So there's that. And then we did four, one, two. Let's do, so that's three, four, four. If I do four, three, four, let's see how that looks balance wise. See, I'm just trying to make it look slightly 
different, but also slightly the same, if that kind of makes sense. I don't know. Don't need you, don't need you, don't need you. All right, building on camera is always, ooh, am I out? Nope, I got more. It's always kind of nerve wracking because a lot of this is just experimenting and say, how does this look? I don't know. Oh, you know, that that's that kind of works. Yeah, yeah, I like the, the differences between the two. Uh, all right, so I've got to come up with something for this building here. And let's have it kind of wrap a little bit, yo-yo. And there, we got uh, some not so straight lines going around. And then over here, let's see, I like to keep that. So let's not touch that. Oh, hey, doorbell. Nine hours later. Oh man, I, there's a reason why I don't do much chisel and bits because it takes forever. It does, but I, I'm kind of liking how this place is turning out. And give me an idea what you think. Let me spin around, ta-da! Here's my place so far. Uh, I, I decided to go with the two woods that the villager gave me as a kind of a two-tone sort of uh, effect here. And I kind of also like the way the acacia wood is is linking in there. Uh, so I'm, I'm, li I'm liking that. Uh, this last piece, because I don't like the orange, it, this is the bark. You put the two by two pattern of, of the, the vanilla woods and you'll get bark from quark. And I'm, I'm kind of digging it. Uh, went ahead and traded for some of these uh, sugar maple trees and stuck them nearby. And those are kind of looking pretty sweet too. But yeah, there's so much chiseling bits in here. So this is the desert acacia doors. And I, I like how those are looking. And yeah, we've got no real right angles. I gotta fix that, that's kind of ugly looking. But there's no real right angles. It's all kind of squished. Let's go up and look down. So the, the idea I had was not to have, you know, that typical rectangle sort of place. The closest thing are these towers for rectangles and did they turn out exactly the same height no they didn't good good that's what i didn't want uh, i had fun with with doing little chis chiseling bitsing sort of around here just to kind of get rid of all those glowing x's so i've hit f7 i haven't done it yet up here but i'll go ahead and do that too uh, just to, to to get rid of those spawnable spots it, th there's nothing that's going to spawn here because toddy has gone ahead and put up one of these, actually two of these environmental controllers and they're set up so they've got the peaceful module in place. So nothing spawns here, which is which is mighty nice. And you can see that in the top left corner there. Uh, so I'm not worried about that, but standard practice, I just look for anything that's a spawnable spot and make it not so. So yeah, just playing with little chisels and bitsy bits there. I went ahead and put on a little bit of a, a windowsill around each of the window of the opposite wood. Uh, what else did I do? Um, oh yeah, I started to to trim. You can see there's a little bit of, of chiseling right here to kind of add a little uh, texture as it goes around. And nothing, nothing, nothing. Got it right there. So I'm gonna have to go through and do a lot more of that uh, trim pieces to go around. Uh, got some glass that I went ahead and chiseled down to thinner panes, trim. This was fun, this little front porch piece. Uh, we've got the, the doors here, uh, but I went ahead and put on some kind of little side pieces, a little bit around here. And then we've got this overhang and the idea of like maybe some chain that's kind of holding down to, to keep it from falling over and breaking and whatnot. And, and a little bit of chiseling up here just to, for continuity's sake. But I'm kind of grooving on this. It, it's kind of coming along. And, and on the inside, there's tons of stuff that needs to be done. You know, it's kind of frankly really ugly on the inside uh, at this point with the, the where the, the upside down stairs or the, I guess these are right sized up stairs or bumping around some weird colors. Uh, so I need to, to go ahead and fix that. Uh, the floor is mighty boring and currently there's no lights in here. So that needs to be fixed. The towers at this point have nothing in them and they at least need some stairs to get up. And so yeah, there's a, a plenty of good stuff that needs to be done in here 
you know, same thing over here. Uh, there's plenty of stuff that needs to be done to, to make this look better, but I'm kind of grooving on it right now. So, yep, went ahead and got myself hooked up to my network and also so I can zip back and forth real quick. And it works, it works a lot. But uh, yep, time to, to do a little bit more fiddle faddle with this to uh, make it look even better, uh, kind of break up some of the straight lines. I'm, I'm kind of liking this, uh, the look of the little bits chiseled off of the, the corner. So I'm gonna be doing a little bit of that. And uh, yeah, may, I, I, I need to hear back from Toddy as to how many of those villagers he wants, but this is really turning out nicely. I'm, I'm kind of liking it, yeah. It's really hard not to build things in rectangles and squares. So uh, having a blast with that. So let me know in the comments what you think. I'm I'm kind of grooving on it. it. It needs a whole lot more vegetation around here. Uh, those trees are just the beginning. I'm gonna have to get some other stuff going because you know it, it needs to have that lived in foresty sort of natural look. And uh, yeah, gotta make that happen too. Anyway, this has been Grok the Duck Farmer here on the FTOG Avant 3 server having a blast with the little elf village here and nice little place it is too. And I hope you had fun. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.